It was a tumultuous day in the Trump administration with a major shakeup involving the public faces of the Trump presidency. All this came among new reports of conflict within Mr. Trump's legal team as they prepare to respond to the investigation by special counsel Robert Mueller. We break it down now with Rosalind Helderman, political enterprise and investigations reporter for The Washington Post. Uh, thanks for joining us. What's the Trump legal team's strategy to deal with this investigation? Well, we reported today that the legal team is examining a broad array of options that would allow it or would uh, uh, lead to the restraining or restricting of the special counsel's investigation. Uh, at present, they uh, say they're cooperating with the special counsel, Bob Mueller, uh, but we understand that they are doing research into possible conflicts uh, by Bob Mueller himself, conflicts of interest, or members of his uh, staff that he is assembling. Uh, keep in mind that conflict of interest is one of the only things in the regulations establishing the special counsel that can be used by the uh, attorney general, or in this case, the acting attorney general, Rod Rosenstein, uh, to dismiss the special counsel. Uh, and so they're looking at that and a number of other things that, that would try to curb the sort of scope of this expanding investigation. Did any of these conflicts of interest come up when Mueller was originally assigned to the task? Did uh, Jeff Sessions or anyone else give him a pass on these? You know, that's a good question that we don't entirely uh, know yet. We do know that uh, President Trump himself has said that he interviewed Bob Mueller to be FBI director very shortly before his appointment uh, as special counsel. Uh, one of the conflicts that we reported today the White House has been examining is, of all things, Bob Mueller's uh, membership at the Trump National Golf Course in Northern Virginia. Uh, apparently, uh, White House advisors tell us uh, there was some variety of dispute over over his membership fees at that club. Now, Mueller's office has told us that's not true. Uh, there was no membership fee dispute, so we're continuing to try to learn more about that. But whatever happened at the golf club, uh, President Trump clearly did not see it as an impediment to potentially appointing Bob Mueller to be FBI director. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's interesting that they're now returning to that topic. Well, let's talk a little bit about the legal team. It seems to be changing at least faces in the past few days. That's right. Uh, we saw today the resignation of Mark Corallo, who had been sort of the spokesman for the team. Uh, he had been officially the spokesman for Mark Kasowitz. Uh, he's a New York-based uh, attorney uh, who had worked with Donald Trump on various matters for many years, who had been, uh, until today, uh, the leader of this team. Uh, there have been some reports that he is leaving the team altogether. Our reporting is that Kasowitz is remaining aboard, but it's going to take a reduced role. Uh, the leader now is John Dowd, who was hired last month, a veteran uh, Washington litigator. Uh, he had been involved in the investigation of Pete Rose of, of baseball fame. Uh, he's leading the team. Jay Sekulow, familiar to uh, television viewers, uh, remains on the team as sort of its public face. You know, the individual that you mentioned, Mr. Dowd, actually came out in the Wall Street Journal and kind of questioned uh, this reporting that the Washington Post had done and said that it's not true that President Trump and his team were looking into the act of possibly pardoning his aides or himself. Now, does that, to me, does, there are multiple lawyers. Is it just the lawyers that you spoke to versus Mr. Dowd? So we feel very comfortable in our sourcing for that story. Uh, when he said that this morning, we did add those comments that were on, on the record uh, to our story uh, to reflect his denial. Uh, we feel comfortable that our story was accurate and accurately reflected conversations that have been going on uh, amongst this large legal team. I would note uh, Mr. Dowd gave an interview to The Wall Street Journal in which he said uh, that, in fact, the legal team is not at all interested in the topic of conflicts of interest. Well, Jay Sekulow was quoted in that very same story as saying that they are looking at conflicts that any uh, reasonable lawyer would do so. So uh, there was a, a conflict right there in the same story from mm -hmm. two different lawyers for the team. You know, if I'm a lawyer representing somebody like the president, wouldn't it be normal for me to say, you know, let's look at all the tools that my client has, if one of the tools includes a presidential pardon? Shouldn't I just investigate what the uh, parameters of that pardon are? Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, as we reported, uh, we do believe that this was a conversation about legal options, uh, that uh, this was not the president saying that he plans to pardon himself or that he believes he is ultimately going to need a pardon, which is to say believes he's going to be accused of a crime. This was a, a conversation about legal uh, options and the powers of the presidency. How does a president go about uh, and what's the breadth of 
of his authority to pardon staff, to pardon family members, and indeed, what does the Constitution say and the law say about a president pardoning himself, which actually is a question of uh, rather distinct dispute in the legal community. All right, and finally, briefly, is this, in the sources that you've spoken with, uh, is the shakeup or at least a changeover in the legal team as well as in the communications department part of something bigger? Uh, I think there's a, a sort of sense of a White House on edge right now. There's a lot of turmoil. Uh, I certainly would not guarantee that uh, we've seen the end of, of the changes. Uh, of course, we'll, we'll all note that the president had those very harsh words for Attorney General Jeff Sessions uh, earlier this week in an interview with The New York Times. Uh, we're told that people in the White House were quite surprised that those comments did not result in Jeff Sessions resigning. He instead came out and said he planned to stay on the job. Uh, so that's in the air. Uh, the chief of staff, Reince Priebus, there have been many, many rumors that uh, he's on his way out. Uh, so, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think that the team is, is settled by any means. All right. Rosalind Helderman of The Washington Post, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me.